Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the cell division. Have you ever wondered how we grow or become bigger? How do we reproduce in other words? How we make flesh of our own? Do we magically just grow or is there some scientific explanation? Let's find out. Well, basically, it starts with our cells, the smallest part of us. Living organisms are constantly making new cells. But why? We make new cells in order to grow and also to replace our old dead cells. The making of new cells is cell division and it is what happening all the time. In fact, there are 2 trillion cell divisions in our body every day. Now what are the types of cell division? So there are three main types of cell division. We humans are complex organisms that gain new cells by either mitosis or meiosis. Binary fission is used by simple organisms like bacteria since they are single-celled organisms. So let's find out how the cell divisions happen. What is mitosis? Mitosis is used when a cell makes exact copies of itself. Everything in the cell is duplicated and that means copying the exact information about the cell. The cells that use mitosis are the muscle, blood, and skin cells. Now fun fact, did you know that the original cell is called the mother cell and the two new cells are called daughter cells? Well, we're not the only ones that have mums then, right? Okay, back again. In mitosis, cells go through different phases called the cell cycle. The normal state of a cell is called the Interface. Interface is the period when the cell isn't dividing. It begins when the new cells are done forming and ends when the cell prepares to divide. Although it's also called a resting stage, there's constant activity in the cell during interface. When a cell gets the signal to duplicate, it will enter the first state of mitosis called the prophase. Prophase is like sorting out of the copies. It is when structures in the cell's nucleus begin to disappear, including the nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, and nucleoli. And then a substance called chromatin condenses into chromosomes or the DNA molecule. You've heard of the DNA and it stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and it's like the script that the cell follows to become another copy of the mother cell. Next is the metaphase. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up along the middle of the cell, forming an equator in the center. Did you know that the single fertilized egg of a woman can also split into two or more? And that, that's when twins are formed. Next is the anaphase. Anaphase is like packing up to move out. During anaphase, the chromosomes separate and move to opposite sides of the cell. In other words, they are rearranged to their proper position inside the cell-forming group of chromosomes. The cell also elongates at this point. And lastly, the telophase. During telophase, the cell forms two nuclear membranes around each set of chromosomes. Those groups of chromosomes that were formed in the anaphase, and then the chromosomes and coil. The cell walls then pinch off and split down the middle, and the two new cells or dotal cells are formed. The splitting of the cells is called cytokinesis or cell cleavage. The cells produced from mitosis are called diploids because they have two complete sets of chromosomes. So that's one way of cell splitting. Now the next one, the meiosis. Meiosis is used when it is time for the entire organism to reproduce. Surely mitosis and meiosis sound alike, but how do they differ? First. When meiosis is complete, a single cell produces four new cells instead of just two. Well, that sure is fast reproducing, but the second difference is that the new cells only have half the DNA of the original cell. So what happens to the other half? This is important for life on Earth as it allows for new genetic combinations to occur which produces variety in life, so that they can form new kinds of species suitable for the current environment. Examples of cells that undergo meiosis include sex cells or gametes, 
that includes the sperm and the egg cells. The cells produced from meiosis are called haploids because they only have half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. And lastly, the binary fission. It sounds like a thing in the sci-fi movies, but it is actually important for some organisms. Simple organisms such as bacteria undergo a type of cell division called binary fission. First, the DNA is replicated and the cell grows to twice its size. Then, the duplicate strands of DNA move to opposite sides of the cell like the metaphase. Next, the cell wall pinches off in the middle forming two separate cells. The outcome is another living organism. Unlike mitosis where the cells are constantly dividing for the purposes of growth or body repair. So learners, that's how new cells are formed. That's how our muscles and bones grow. And for the single cell, that's how they reproduce. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.